Okay, let us discuss this problem. This problem is related to Friedel craft acylation. If you remember, we have discussed this in the class. So let us copy first problem and take one minute time. So you have to identify a structure of A and a structure of B. <coughs> so let us take one minute time and how many of you can do this one let us see. So this is Friedel craft acylation. So you first you have to prepare a acylenium ion. Okay, let us discuss. So what you will do is you have anhydride, and this anhydride in the presence of AlCl3, I can basically generate an acylenium ion. So first step is easy. You have AlCl3, and this AlCl3 now will act as a Lewis acid. And here we have an anhydride. So this lone pair goes here and this bond breaks. So if you do something like this, you will have double bond, double bond O and AlCl3. Are you getting this oxygen will have this carbon will have positive charge. And this oxygen, so you will have AlCl3. So this goes here. Now this oxygen will have two lone pair of electron. So one lone pair attacks here and one lone pair is already there and one lone pair comes. So you will have something like this kind of a structure. So this is a complex. And now this carbon contains a positive charge. So this is your acylenium ion. Now next what you have to do is you have basically prepared one electrophile. And now this electrophile will attack on the benzene ring. Now see, we have two options. Either this electrophile can attack at ortho position or it can attack at para position. So there are two sides. So this is activator. It will activate to ortho as well as para position both. Now if you see the answer, that is the last part that is given, is something like this. So there are two groups, so two alkyl groups is attached. One is at meta position, this one. And another is at ortho position. So it seems the final product I will get from the attack at ortho position. So let us try, uh, sorry, at para position. So let us try attack at para position. So if I attack at para position, so para position if I attack, and then we can define what will the product you will have. So you have a benzene ring. I am getting, and now this benzene, now you have electrophile here. O L C L three are getting now this and there is a let us say you have O C S three here. So if you make O C S three here, this is your ortho para position. So this is ortho, this is meta, this is para. So I have to attack from this carbon. So if I will attack from this carbon, what I will have after doing this step, you will have something like this. So this will be lost and the final, the next step I can gain the aromaticity. So I am writing the final product after loss of H+. plus. So you will have simply aromatic substitution, double bond O, and then you will have OLCl3. Are you getting? Now you see, in the next step, so this is your product after reaction with AlCl3. Now you are doing hydrolysis, that is H3O+. Plus. So if you treat this compound with H3O+, plus, OLCl3 will finally convert into OH. So you will have, so 
so your final product will be containing OH double bond O and here you have OH are you getting or not and here you have double bond O are you getting now this is your product A now the next step is if I treat this with ZNHGHCL so amalgamated zinc in HCL solution everybody knows this is a Clemens and reduction CO group will be converted into CH2 and of course the CO that only part of aldehyde or ketone so you will have so this and here you have CH2 group CO OH are you getting or not now next step is very easy if you treat with again with H3PO4 so this is your B now if you treat with H3PO4 what will happen you have to lose one H2O plus from here and then you will again get a acylenium ion so I am making this acylenium ion so you will again generate an electrophile now in the next step ok so OME is not writing so everywhere I have to write OME so at this place I have to write OME again at this position I should have OME group attached and here also the same thing so I have to write a brief pair OME group now here also I have to write OME now the finally now this carbocation so this is a selenium one will attack here and we will have a something like this product so let me make this product and now this group and here you have O and here you have OME now if you see the final product you have the same thing so you see the meta carbon that is attached to CO group here also your meta carbon attached to the CO group so this is the final product you will have so the final reaction is basically a formation of ring so if you follow these steps you can basically increase the ring size that is first you have to use ALCL3 then ZNHGHCL and then H3OPO4 so these reactions so this sequence of reaction same sequence of reaction sequence can be used to increase the ring size can be used to ring formation are you getting so let us discuss the next problem so this is a quite interesting problem you have to remember this problem